Hi, my name is Rohit Sharma and today we are going to talk about how to create a custom patch catalog in Red Hat Linux. Suppose you have a third party application installed on all your Red Hat servers and you have some security patches which you want to install on all those servers. You are looking for a smart and efficient way to install those patches on all the servers in your environment. Using the BSA offline downloader, you can create a custom patch catalog and use the catalog to run analysis against all the servers and install the missing patches. In order to do that, you will need a repository server with internet access, ample disk space and ARS CD agent installed. You will also need to copy the Red Hat offline downloader on the repository server. You will also need to copy the RPMs that you wish to install on the repository server. Please make sure that all the dependencies should be resolved. Otherwise, analysis will fail with missing dependency. So these are the high level steps to create the offline patch catalog. We'll first use the offline downloader to generate metadata on the custom patches. And then we'll log into the console and create an offline patch catalog using the metadata that was generated earlier. So let's get started. I have now logged into my repo server where I have already downloaded and extracted the BSA offline downloader. These are how the contents of the offline downloader would look like once you extract it. Let's have a look at the syntax now. I will now execute the red hat underscore downloader dot asset script with the hyphen help flag to show you the syntax. I have highlighted the syntax here. In the syntax we can see the first thing is the red hat underscore downloader dot asset script followed by the create repo flag. Then we'll specify the source location and the architecture and the operating system of the RPMs that we have downloaded. And then those RPMs will be copied to a repo location. You can specify the repo location same as the source location or you can keep it separate. For the demonstration, I have copied some RPMs in slash source directory on the server. As you can see, these are some of the RPMs that I have already copied. So let's execute the command. So this is the command, the Red Hat downloader dot asset script followed by the create repo flag, followed by the source location flag, where I have mentioned the source location and the OS and the architecture of the RPMs. And the repo location is where the RPMs would be copied. Slash destination is the repo location, which I have selected in this case. So let's hit enter and generate the metadata. So you can see that the create repo command is completed successfully. Now let's take a look what are the contents of slash destination folder. As you can see, the RPMs are now copied to the destination folder and corresponding metadata has been generated. Now all we have to do is to go to the console, create a catalog with the generated metadata. So let's do that. So I have logged into the console now. In the console folders view, expand the depot folder. Navigate to an existing folder or create a new folder. For the demonstration, I have already created a folder here under patch catalogs. The name is Red Hat. Now I'll right click on the folder in which I want to create my patch catalog. Select new patch catalog and Linux patch catalog. This is the Red Hat Linux patch catalog. Now let's fill all the fields here. Name. The catalog mode should be offline because we have already downloaded the patches and this is an offline patch catalog. The payload source location here is the location where the metadata is generated on the repo server. So let's select that. You can use a different location as the repository location or you can use the payload source location as the repository location as well. For this demonstration, I'll use the payload source location as the repository location. Now I'll select the filters. 
now since the patches that i have downloaded were for red hat 6 64 bit i'll select the filter i will now go to the job options and execute job now i will leave the rest of the fields as default you can customize the other fields as per your requirements for the demonstration i'll use all the default options let's hit finish now so you can see that the catalog update is in progress now as you can see the catalog update is successful now we can see that the rpms are now listed in rpm smart groups you can now use this catalog to run analysis against your servers and install the missing patches so this is how you create a custom patch catalog in red hat linux hope you like the video have a great day ahead bye bye